Today we are going to go through how to sanitize the fresh water tank. We are on our way back from our trip last weekend and Kara asked me, have we ever cleaned our fresh water tank? And I said no. And she asked, do you think it was clean before we bought it? And I said no. And this is a 10 year old trailer, so it probably is about time to get it cleaned. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use some bleach. We're going to fill up the tank about halfway, then dump in the bleach. We're supposed to use about a cup-ish for a 50 gallon tank. Um, then we're going to let it sit for the night after we pump some through the system. And then tomorrow I'm going to drive around and slosh it all around. It'll give me a good chance to go get it weighed. And then I'll drain it and I'll refill it. Make sure nothing smells like bleach. If it still smells like bleach, I'll slosh it around some more and drain it again. But let's get to the process. We don't need or want the uh, fresh water tank filling up the hot water heater with bleach water. The hot water lines you don't drink from, so you don't need to clean them necessarily. So we're going to go ahead and bypass all of those. You bypass them the same way that you winterize it. So right down in here, we're going to turn these two lines right here, if you can see them. The one feeding into the water heater and the one feeding out of the water heater we're going to shut off. Then we're going to open up the bypass valve right there. So now the water will come through this line, it'll come up here, and then bypass in, into here instead of flowing into our water heater and out of our water heater. We've already pre-measured our bleach. We have about a cup here, just maybe a little bit over a cup. And because our fresh water tank's up here and I don't have a funnel long enough, I'm just going to fill up it into this water bottle and dump it in from the water bottle without getting it on my clothes, hopefully. All right, good enough. Now we will start putting more water in and fill it the rest of the way. We're going to turn on the pump, pump some water through all the lines, and then we'll let it set for a while. You can see it bubbling, so you can tell that there's some clogs in it. Run some down through the toilet as well. Won't hurt to have bleach in that. I'm going to go drive around and slosh the water around to help sanitize the tank. While I'm doing that, I'm going to go and weigh the trailer, see where we're at, and maybe fill up the propane. So, here we go. I've been driving around for about an hour. Now I'm going to drain out the old um, Clorox water. Alright, so the trailer is finally done draining. Now it's time to fill it up with good, clean water.
I had turned off the hot water heater bypass earlier, so it's now uh, time that I turn that back on. So that way I can get good water into my hot water heater. Okay, so turn that one off. Alright, so hot water is back on. The fresh water tank's full, so now it's time to flush the lines and make sure we got all of the Clorox out of it. Turn on the pump. Brushing up all the lines. Good. Not really going to worry about the toilet too much, because bleaching that line won't hurt too much. Just want to make sure it works. Here we go into the shower. And this will just be the cold weather or cold water lines. <clears throat> this will just be the cold water lines because we turned off the hot water lines. And you just want to run enough through to make sure you don't smell the bleach anymore. I can still smell bleach. Just gonna let that run while it runs the bleach out of it. While that's doing that, I can also get the sink going. I can still smell the bleach, so I'll let that just keep running. Run it through the sink as well. Hopefully that helps you sanitize and clean out your fresh water tank. That way the next time you go out, you can have nice clean water and don't have to pack a bunch of water bottles with you. As always, thanks for watching and enjoy your weekend.